Here's an idea. One of our subscribers says uh, she enjoys painting oceans or seascapes, but aside from the displaying of motion to create the waves, uh, she'd like to have more discussed regarding the use of color in blues and how to portray depth and distance more when using cool colors. Well, we can play with that idea. Like all the tips I give you about using colors or when you ask me how to do something, the key is observation, always observation. Now, I have here four different photos of distance uh, in an ocean. And if you can go on pixbay.com, you'll find dozens of them. Better than that, go to the ocean and observe different times of day, different kinds of weather, all kinds of circumstances that would cause things to change or cause the colors to change and how you would handle that depth in the ocean. So what I want to do is to develop, uh, is to just uh, give you a couple of general hints. And, and I'm going to base my hints on this one because this photo is more closely related to what this, our subscriber who made this request uh, is describing to me. So uh, one idea is yes there are blues but don't depend upon blues exclusively. Uh, use neutral colors with your blues. Now I'm going to give you an example of what I'm talking about as far as the colors go. So if your sea, uh, if your sea or ocean is reading more on the ultramarine blue side, then ultramarine blue would play into the whole, the whole uh, idea. But if you will create a neutral from phthalo blue and cadmium red light, it will give you that that feeling of, of those combinations of neutrals that we see when we look at the ocean. Let me just show, show you what I'm talking about. So I'm going to take here, let's see, the darkest dark there is, well, I'm just going to take about a um, little darker, kind of a, not the darkest dark. Now this is phthalo blue plus white. Now I'm going to mix into that um, cadmium red light. So I'll just mix it right here. Cadmium red light because cadmium red light is a wonderful complement for phthalo blue. Or it could be for cerulean blue or Prussian blue. But let's, I just want to stick just to those two blues. All right, so if I pull cadmium red light into phthalo blue, now you can watch it change. Look what happens here. It changes to sort of a neutral purple light color. And that's what we want. We want a neutral that leans a little bit more towards purple. Now let's see what we have here. Do I have enough of the uh, cadmium red light in there? Pull a little bit of white in here and just test it right up here to see. That is still too blue. Uh, that doesn't mean that that blue might not work. If you see, well we just see a lot of that like in this area. So if phthalo blue were, your, were the color that you would be using uh, to describe a particular um, thing that you're observing about the ocean, you probably would not use phthalo blue by itself, but you would want to reduce its intensity uh, with the cadmium red light, but you want to reduce it just about this degree right here, as you can see. But that's not what I'm aiming for in this one. I'm aiming for something that goes right here. So I will add just a little bit more. Let's get something right here. A little bit more cadmium red light right in here. I want it to be a neutral that leans towards purple. Now why a neutral that leans towards purple? Because I'm seeing in here, I'm seeing in that particular scene with that particular kind of weather, uh, I'm seeing a neutral that leans towards violet or towards purple. And just a little bit more now, let's see what we have. So I'm going to pull a little bit of white to test it. And it's a good idea when you're testing. Uh, there we go. That's what, that's closer to what I'm seeing. If a whole yes. Uh, get that little bit more, a little bit more of that so that I can just show you a little example of how that works. A little bit lighter. A little bit lighter. Get that about middle value. Now, if I hold my palette knife, 
It's a little bit redder. This is the way to test. To uh, look at the seam and focus on what you see, where you see neutrals. You will see neutrals. So focus on where you see those neutrals and then mix the color on your palette knife and get just a little bit more. Get just a little bit too, too neutral. This is getting closer. It's getting closer. All right, so now what value? This is the key. So I'll, get, I'll start that out at the darkest value. Now let's look at showing that as distance. Now this is just going to be a, just a little sample. It's not meant to do a painting for you by any means, but just a sample of how this color works. All right, now I'm using that with the ultramarine blue. I'm seeing ultramarine blue in here. And so what I want to do is I'm going to start with ultramarine blue. I've got ultramarine blue here, just ultramarine blue and titanium white. And let's just pull that in at a very dark value. So I'm just going to start that here and I see that the direction of that dark moving like that. So I would just do this. Let's get that just a little bit. There we go, right there. And then I see, I see that dark of the ultramarine blue moving in this direction here. So this is what I'll do. All right, so that's just the underpainting, you might say. Now, I'm seeing that dark get lighter as it moves into distance. So that means the next, as I move this movement, or this, uh, that the blue of that that I'm seeing, as I move it into distance, I'm going to see it get a little lighter. So I make this one a little lighter. And I'm just looking at the darker portions that I'm seeing there. And then as it moves in the distance, I get a little lighter than that. And that's not a little lighter than that. Just it gradates. It's uh, we have um, we have a series on how to work these things in gradation in our um, in our in our video tutorials. So that gradates, and you can see as it moves in the distance then we see the value getting lighter and lighter and lighter. It reaches a point back here where you can't really tell the sky. You really can't tell the sky from the ocean. So at that point we might we might block in just a little bit of this area like this. Now that is, you might call that an underpainting kind of a block in. Now let's see what we would do to that now to be able to, sh to make that feel like ocean moving in the distance. Let's get that value right. If we don't get the value right, it's not going to work. So it gradually changes. Gradually becomes darker here to lighter there. Now I'm going to move in to, first of all I'm going to move into the the neutral that I created. And with that neutral I'm going to begin to, to pull a lighter version of that just scumble it into the sky. This needs to be a little bit redder. Still a little bit redder. Let's pull a little bit from over here. Just a little bit more. The same value scumbled into the sky. I lots of times am guilty of taking shortcuts without, um, without pulling the paint out of the brush. And when that happens, the wrong color appears. Here we go. Let's try this. That's more like it. All right. So I'm going to, I'll just kind of work this into the sky. It gets, so you see how it's working there. It's, it's a, just want a little bit of that blue into the sky. I want a little bit of that blue to show through. Now I'm going to move into the neutral and the lightest neutral in the distance. And I'm going to begin to kind of work it in gradually and allow a little bit of that ultramarine blue to show through. As it's moving from the, there we go, right there. Let's get that a little bit more violet. Okay, let's see, the, the value needs to be the same as the value beside it. I've got it right here. I'll mix a little bit of that into the ultramarine blue. You see I'm picking up more and more of the cadmium red now. 
uh, and just need to adjust that so that I can feel I can feel the 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 warmth in the of the violet when I'm mixing it. Here we go, like this. All right. Now I'll leave some of the ultramarine blue showing. Get a little bit darker because it's getting closer to us. A little bit more of the ultramarine blue in there. A little bit darker right in here. Allow the ultramarine blue to show through as it gets a little bit darker right in here. And allow the ultramarine blue to show through here. It's getting a little darker. A little bit more of the red. Now I'm going to do a little bit of blending. And I'll just blend like this between between the, the neutral and the ultramarine blue. Need to get that just a little bit, get a little bit more of the gradation in here. So we'll, we'll move in towards towards a uh, lighter value of the neutral. Allow that not lighter value of the neutral. as it moves into the distance there. Still need more. On that particular one, we see lots and lots of neutral effects. Uh, lots and lots of neutral because of that particular weather, um, particular weather situation. A little bit more, a little more neutral back here and a little darker. And then letting that get a little light, lighter, letting that get darker then as it comes to the front. So I'll just gradually get that just a little bit darker right in here and then we begin to see clean the brush. Now kind of went over here. Let's get that just a little bit, just to get a little bit more of the, the actual neutral right here. So the idea is to allow the neutral or allow the color of the blue that you're seeing to kind of pop through the neutral the, and uh, that mixing that I'm, your eyes mixing those colors then will enable that uh, get this right here that your eyes mixing those colors will enable to sh you to show that kind of distance that we're talking about so I'm going to add just a little bit more ultramarine blue. This time I'm going to want to deepen that just a bit with the cabin red light. And let's get this a little bit deeper. There we go. Blended. A little bit deeper. Blended. A little bit deeper right here. And blended. Now let's see, oh, okay, I'm seeing the gradation getting even lighter as we're going into the distance. So once, uh, once you get the, once you get the block in done, then, then you can adjust the, you can adjust the value for the distance. There we go. There we go. We're getting closer now. To fill, fill the brush with the lighter color and we kind of scumble over that, move forward with it, sort of like this. So observe, observe, don't, uh, well, as I always say, it's better that you debased, uh, base all of your paintings on your observation rather than somebody else's formula. Because um, your observation is going to tell you everything you need to know. A formula is going to tell you one thing. One thing only. I'm going to really emphasize the dark here. Okay, let's see, how does that work? Does that begin to work to show that kind of thing in distance. So 
and kind of play around with that idea. Um, the ultramarine bloom or the uh, cerulean blue, uh, pr Prussian blue, when the ocean is reflecting more of that um, yellow green that we see in the ocean when the sun shines usually. It depends on what the ocean is too, so many things like that. Um, and then you, the ultramarine blue, uh, when you're seeing more of a late afternoon, rainy, misty ocean. But to show the distance, to get just a little bit more stability right here. To show the distance, it's the gradation. Gradually, having all those colors, whatever colors you use, gradually change as they move into the distance. In this case, that gradual change ended up being from dark to light. That gradual change could be light to dark depending on the time of day. So don't take that one, don't take that one for granted either. So perhaps that shows uh, something. I keep wanting to tweak with it, but not quite doing what I want it to do yet. Let's tweak it just a little bit here with the, the volume movement. Just a little bit. Well, maybe that'll give you the idea. So uh, I would say practice observing how the value changes as it moves into distance and how the intensity changes. In other words, how much how much neutral do you see? Uh, you might see a lot of neutral and when you see that neutral it's going to be between the actual color or between layers of the actual colors you see. So you see right here it actually grades in, gradates in distance but it gradates light to dark because of the way the, the time of day and uh, the way the light's reflecting on the water but you still feel that sense of distance. So observation match the colors to what you see. That's pretty much it. If you have a suggestion for a quick tip leave a comment right down here and we'll be happy to put it on schedule. And check out our titles and descriptions of our full-length videos on Diamonds.com. Bet you'll find something that you might like. And there's your quick tip.